and player profilers, a local trio's loyal following in AFL's Dream Team competition. Three Tasmanian school teachers are trying to convert their unique passion into a television program. Their show, analysing a popular AFL competition, already attracting thousands of viewers online. The Three Amigos began broadcasting Dream Team Talk online in 2007 as a bit of a giggle. At the end of a pretty big night, we put together a YouTube clip and it was a cringe-worthy episode, so we thought no one would possibly watch it, but uh, they did. A few thousand people watched it. The weekly show discussing the ins and outs of the AFL-run competition now pulling in around 15,000 hits a week. After filming a pilot late last year alongside some familiar faces, they're now pitching the show to network television. But it's Scott Pendleberry who must be on your radar this week. We've got half a million people that play the game, so you think, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of scope for a show. We want to kick it on to the next step to make it um, uh, a full-time job. According to the boys, Dream Team is the new tipping and they've been selling Dream Team cheat sheets to beginners for some pocket money. Everyone in their offices are all getting into it. We've got ourselves a couple of free beers, so that's a, that's a good thing for us. Whether the trio can crack the big time or not, they've gained credibility with AFL stars turning to them for Dream Team advice. Uh, I've awesome. got old Keithy on my bench, actually. Do you? Yeah, Hopefully you get to re a gig soon. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time, Maxi. You're an absolute champion. Maxwell, you know, we'll send a text message going, oh, what do you reckon, should I be picking um, this guy or this guy? And then we're just shooting back to him, well, are you going to kick it to Swanee? Are you going to kick it to Pendles? Trent Dan, Southern Cross News.